Growing up, I actually um, listening to some of the TV shows and, and the Soviet propaganda. What we realized was then, I actually thought how lucky I am to to be born in Soviet Union. I didn't realize that there was any other way. It started with movies and, and it started with chewing gums. Then we started realizing there could be other way that that can bring more welfare and more interesting life than, than what I'm having. In 1991, 1992, this was the toughest time for Georgia because it was a war in Abkhazia. The recent government has collapsed. There was no gas, no electricity. People were just begging in the streets and another part was running with the machine guns in the streets. Nobody thought that this country has any potential that time. Let me first say that I don't think that immediately the shift was to democracy, okay? It was rather shift to anarchy. Like the first feeling was that everything is allowed now because a lot of things collapsed and we were cold and we were very often hungry. We started thinking what needs to be done for this to change. It's about creating the open society in the country, fostering the rule of law in the country and advancing human rights in the country. During the transition in the 90s, George Soros understood the very unique features of institutional development in the post-Soviet space that institutions were not going to be created de novo overnight, but rather they're creatures of culture and they take a long time to develop and to change. I see a role for the foundation as it is. We provide a support for a better understanding of reality, irrespective of power relations. We have been out there helping every startup in Georgia, almost every organization that came to us with new ideas. The young people who were experimenting, disability rights, LGBT rights, women rights, we always gave them this opportunity to start something new, to experiment, to try their ideas. Mrs. Soros supported this a lot with the, his investment in education, higher education supporting arts and culture, supporting legal aid. There were 16,000 projects supported by the foundation. We need to help those individuals that really think of taking the country into the direction of liberal democracy, and that's an everyday work. I'm a director of Kivitas Georgica. We are focused on local democracy and development of rural territories. Our Open Society Foundation has contributed very much to strengthening our organization. From the very beginning, the support was showing trust in us that was, beside the financial, also the moral support. And it is very difficult to work for human rights and, pro and trying to promote human rights. It was difficult and it continues to be difficult. However, it's part of the life. It's all about believing um, in your ideals, bright future of living in open society. Georgian independence and the capacity for Georgia to retain an open society will always be challenged by the existence of imperial mentality in Russia. The risk of Russia is very credible, and nothing saves us if they decide to come. The only chance for us is to develop our society and to develop our institutions in a way that if people decide to fight, they really believe in what they fight for. Another issue that we have been working a lot and, you know, it's something that I think is very key for Georgia is the Georgia's European integration. The overwhelming majority of Georgian population support the European integration of this country. Going to the European Court of Human Rights is very important. We select strategic cases, cases that have the potential to change the law, policy or practice. And if the court rules in favor of us, then we have the tool to advocate for changes. The society here has developed tremendously, so much that I've, 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 I've felt proud. I think, and I will stay optimist, we are moving forward uh, with difficulties, but we are. Democratic values are part of our life. And understanding that we need to fight for it, 
We're trying to form ourselves from inside, but not closing our society. And this is a difficult path we are going through, and we are going, we are, we are moving.